Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the US-1 public meeting. My name is Sam Jumber, and I am the project manager for the Florida Department of Transportation. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to provide information about this repaving project and receive your input. There are many ways to provide feedback. The project team will respond to your questions and comments in writing, and all comments will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. Meeting information is being provided in multiple ways to allow the community to receive information about the projects and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person and virtually through GoToWebinar. For those listening to the meeting over the phone, the presentation is available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 443814-1. For online participants in the GoToWebinar application, you will see a set of icons in the top right corner of the menu bar. Click the questions icon where the red arrow is pointing to open the questions panel. Type your question into the field where the red arrow is now pointing to and hit send to submit your question or comment to project staff. To download documents about the project, click on the materials icon where the red arrow is pointing to open the documents panel. Inside are project files that can be viewed or downloaded. If joining GoToWebinar on your mobile device, click the questions icon at the bottom of your screen. This will open the questions panel where you can enter your question or comment into the field and hit send. Click the Handouts icon at the bottom to open the Documents panel, where you will find project files to view and download. If you happen to experience a technical issue during this meeting, please type the issue in the Questions box on the Control panel on GoToWebinar, or send an email to carolyn.fitzwilliam at dot.state.fl.us. You may also call 386 943-5215. Staff will do their best to assist you. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 501, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5077, or email melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742, or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state. .fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This project is located in Brevard County on US-1, also known as State Road 5. The project begins north of Century Oak Circle in the town of Malabar and ends north of Myers Drive in the city of Palm Bay. The Financial Project Identification Number, or FPID, for this project is 443814-1. The purpose of this project is to extend the life of the roadway and enhance safety along the corridor. In addition to repaving the roadway, 
Proposed improvements include reducing the width of the travel lanes to provide wider paved shoulders, widening the existing roadway pavement to include bicycle keyholes for right turn lanes, upgrading the existing RRFB north of Riverview Drive to a pedestrian hybrid beacon to meet current FDOT criteria, adding lighting to existing signalized crosswalks and reconstructing curb ramps to meet Americans with Disabilities Act or ADA standards. Currently, this segment of US-1 is a four-lane divided highway with two 12-foot travel lanes in each direction, four-foot paved outside shoulders, and a median that varies in width from 18 feet to 42 feet, as illustrated in this typical section or cross-section of the roadway. This typical section highlights some of the proposed changes to the roadway. They include narrower travel lanes and wider shoulders to accommodate bicycles. In some sections of the corridor, where exclusive right turn lanes exist, bicycle keyhole lanes will be added. A keyhole lane is a lane for cyclists that is placed between a through lane and the adjacent right turn lane. As previously mentioned, this project is also proposing upgrading the pedestrian activated mid-block crossing to a pedestrian hybrid beacon, or PHB, north of Riverview Drive in Malabar. So, what exactly is a PHB? As seen in this artist's rendering, a PHB is an overhead traffic signal that is designed to provide increased visibility and protection for vulnerable road users at mid-block crossing locations. A PHB consists of two side-by-side -side red lights that are mounted above a single yellow light. The lights remain dark until they are activated by pedestrians wishing to cross. Once the PHB is activated, yellow lights will begin to flash, followed by solid red lights, requiring drivers to stop. When the red lights begin to flash, drivers must stop, but can proceed with caution once the crosswalk is cleared. The Florida Department of Transportation is working to reduce pedestrian crashes by installing pedestrian hybrid beacons statewide. At the crosswalk, pedestrians press the button to activate the overhead beacon. It will flash yellow, turn solid yellow, then turn solid red, requiring drivers to stop so pedestrians may safely cross. When the beacon flashes red, drivers must stop but can proceed if the crosswalk is clear. When the beacon goes dark, traffic can proceed. FDOT, helping drivers and pedestrians share the road safely. Moving forward, the design of this project is in progress and anticipated to be complete in December 2024 at an estimated cost of $1.9 million. The improvements on this project will be within the existing right-of-way. Construction for this project is funded for early 2025 with an estimated cost of $7.8 million. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by December 11, 2023, 12 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. To submit a comment or a question online, please type the comment or question in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 443814-1. You may also contact FDOT project manager Samuel Jumber directly by email at samuel.jumber at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. Mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 
Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call Mr. Jumber at 386-943-5244 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about this project, go to www.cflroads.com, type the project number 443814-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by December 11, 2023. Have a good evening.